What's going on everyone? It's Stephen the Laggy Gamer. And if I could get through this without getting a phone call or a call on the radio, that'd be great. But yeah, I'm here, I'm sitting at work and it's the end of the day, so I had a few minutes here to try to record a video because it seems I never have time at home. And uh, I want to get a game discussion in so bad, but other than Mario, it's like I'm playing stuff right now, but everything's so long that I can't just get one in there to do a discussion on. And I feel like people have talked about Mario enough, uh, 3D World. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm still playing through New Vegas and still playing through... Uh, I'm going to start up Super Metroid for the first time. Well, not the first time, but I actually try to beat it. I'm actually going to go on a Metroid marathon here to see if I can get a couple beat. So we can do like a little podcast mini so on it with Dustin or something. So uh, that's some future plans. But for this channel, you know, I figured I'd try to get a video in. And I was just thinking about a question while uh, just driving around today. And it's probably been asked before. Every time I think of a question to ask you guys, I know Alex, uh, Return to Mother Base, has probably asked it already before. But uh, I can't. he's done so many nerd questions, I can't remember if he's all the ones he's done. I don't remember anything from two weeks ago anyway. So uh, the thing I was thinking about was, has your gaming evolved over time? Like, how you have you changed? I know I had a video recently, has YouTube changed your gaming ways? And loved all the responses and everything I got from that. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing videos pop up on channels I'm not even subscribed to, doing responses to, not to me, but to our other people. They respond to their video who respond to me, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, has your gaming evolved? You know, as you've gotten older or anything. Uh, and for example, I know for me, when I first started gaming, uh, the game I started with when I actually had a console of my own was Super Mario World, because it came boxed into Super Nintendo. And I love that game. That was like the only game I had for a while. So platformers, and I had a uncle who had an NES. So I love playing Contra, and I really love playing sports games. Like when the Sega Genesis came out, I was always playing Madden and stuff on there. Just sports and action games were where it was at for me. Even going into uh, teenage years, it's it was always the newest sports game for Madden or something, and eventually got into shooters like when Halo eventually hit the scene and stuff like that but it was I did a lot of sport gaming and just action adventure type gamings games but now it just seems like my gaming has evolved dramatically because I'm, I'm really loving my favorite genre right now is probably RPGs and back in the day I hated them if I was looking through a game list or something or trying out demos Oh, this is one of those games where you gotta click on the words and it does the moves. I hated that growing up. It just seemed stupid to me. But now, nowadays, those games are what grab me the most because it's the storytelling elements. It's everything involved in it, and they're just they're just great stories and great games and more in depth. RPGs, whether it be a JRPG or an action RPG, a Western RPG. That just seems like the genre for choice for me right now, what I get the most enjoyment out of. Still love sports. Still love uh, action games, first-person shooters, Halo and stuff. I love all those. Just, uh, I gotta be in the mood for those, it seems like, all of a sudden. I need to have a, I need to be in a shooter mood to put one in. It's not like back in the day where I used to play them all the time. Or just be online all the time with them, playing uh, Call of Duty or something online. It's just not like that anymore. And that's cool. I like how I've evolved and changed into a gamer and developed uh, games I really like enjoy playing more. Uh, speaking on Metroid, I played Metroid Fusion on the Game Boy Advance. That was the only one I played. And I actually, I'm not a fan of going through and doing these, the Metroidvania type stuff where I have to backtrack all the time. That gets tedious and annoying to me. That was back in the day. I haven't played one of those type of games since Monster Tail on the DS. And I love that game. That was excellent. So, uh, that's why I'm going through this little marathon here. After seeing Dustin's Castlevania video, I really want to experience those and see if maybe it, my gaming's going to evolve even more and I'll really enjoy those and grow an appreciation for that genre like I haven't before. So, it's pretty cool because, uh, you know, we see ourselves evolving as gamers, like developing things, new games, new habits and stuff when we're gaming. So, it's pretty neat seeing how I've evolved into different genres opened up. Uh, not wanting to get the newest sports game. I, I think my newest Madden is the 011 one because I just wait till they get a dollar at GameStop and buy that one. I don't need the newest stuff. So it's really neat seeing how I've evolved. And I'm glad I have. I know something that's kicking in now 
as I'm getting older and I'm a father and I have another child on the way, I really enjoy shorter games. I used to love, like, uh, when I started this RPG kick a few years ago, I used to love these long, drawn-out games, and now it's getting to the point where I'm liking the short ones. I'm really enjoying finishing them and getting them done. Uh, 10 hours and under, I love that kind of uh, range in the game. I feel like I'm getting my money's worth, especially if I got it used somewhere. So, uh, but I do enjoy. I just finished like Zilly, a bunch of RPGs, RPGs this year. Nino Kuni was number two or three, number three on my top games of 2013 list. So, still loving to death out of long RPGs. There's some great ones coming out this year too. So, you know, but I, I am evolving into really liking shorter games just so I can knock out more. That's why this retro kick with the Metroids, it's going to be awesome finishing these games. Hopefully, in like 12 hours or under with the. Uh, with some of them so we'll see how it goes but yeah I'm asking you guys has your game evolved over time or have you just stuck tried and true uh, loving the same stuff your whole life you've always grown up playing or have you grown an appreciation for other games and stuff like that so uh, yeah just something uh, asking get going around so let me know what you think comments videos whatever you want to do I'm gonna be better at answering and responding to comments this time uh, I'm horrible at commenting on people's channels and responding to comments. I read everything, but I always do everything from my phone, and it's so tedious uh, typing back on your phone. So but I'm going to work on that, so I apologize to everyone who likes tuning in. I'm going to start responding better to your comments. So uh, hold me hold me to that. Call me out on it. So anyways, uh, I'm going to call it a day here at working on this video. So thanks for watching. Like a gamer. Like an out.